<laughs> Me mortar. You're gonna make mortar? Yeah. What are you doing, Fox? Me mortar. Make mortar? Yeah. Who do you make mortar? Mix, mix, mix. Can you say mix, mix, mix? Yeah. Tap, 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 like this, outside. Tap, tap, tap. Get it in there. Good job. All done. I'm not a talented enough mason to make this look clean quickly. So in order to make it look clean at the end, I do a lot of more busy work like, like this. I get done. I know for a fact that I'm gonna peek my head in the oven when it's on and I will see the inside of this brick. Uh, so what I'm doing is the cut, the cut side of the brick that looks less good it looks less aesthetically pleasing i'm putting it toward the outside so that the nice fabricated side is on the inside and then this cut side that i cut that looks rough and kind of kind of janky it'll face the cob and you'll never see it because it's gonna be a cob clay cob layer and then secondly what i do is i let it dry for about five or ten minutes and then i come back around and i'll scrape the brick nice and sharp without going into the joints. I want the joints to stay full of mortar. And I just kind of scrape the face of the brick, the part that looks nice. And I scrape that mortar off. So you can see the brick again. And then at the very end, before it's all the way dry, I'll bring a sponge and a bucket full of water and I'll wash the inside and keep it really clean. That way when there's a fire in there and you look inside, you'll see this beautiful brick and the brick will visually make you feel good. It's also a storm right now, like I'm doing this in a storm. <laughs> so there's definitely ocean salts, ocean minerals pouring into this mortar. So the girls are working on some tummy time. 
and they are rock stars at it. Hi. <laughs> they are rolling everywhere. <laughs> I put them down and I step away for a second and they're just like, doop, doop, doop. Huh. Yeah. Today is a warm day, super hot, muggy. It's been raining the last couple days, so it's like super muggy. I am very sleepy, huh? Yeah, and it's not even the girls. The girls sleep so good at night, and I don't want to jinx myself by saying that, even though I just said it. But the girls do a very good job at sleeping at night. Um, it's Fox, who, you know, is getting up a lot, but it won't last forever. <laughs> That's what I keep telling myself. Um, yeah, but look at them go. You're crushing it, girls. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I <laughs> remember. <laughs> you look so cute. Um, they're starting to like roll and then, you know, we'll have this in front of them. They're starting to reach for it now, and, which is cute. And they have a couple little toys that they go for. You want to come up here? We have a beautiful little dress on Miss River that she got from her grandma. Yes, she did. It's very pretty. And then Miss Willow was wearing lemons, which I think she got from her great grandmother. Jake is crushing it out there with the pizza oven. It's looking so good. The base is like super thick. <laughs> it's like nothing is gonna knock that thing over. Um, it's looking really good. He's working so hard. Such an amazing provider for us, and I just love him so much. And he is feeding us and staying up all through the night to comfort the family. <laughs> Just a little shout out to my man. He is doing a wonderful job with the family. He is an amazing dad. Like seriously, you guys have seen the videos with him and Fox. They are just two peas in a pod. <laughs> They're so adorable. He's doing such a great job with Fox since I, you know, can't be with Fox 100% of the time right now because I got these two girls. Um, but Jake is cooking us all the meals. He's just busting his ASS all over the property, getting things done and working so hard and just destroying his body to provide for us. And I just, we love him so much and we're so grateful for him. Do you guys need to yeah. Show him some love because he is, he is working hard for his family. Yes, he is. Yes. Should we do some feet exercises? Should we do some feet exercises? And we go like this, we go, yeah, 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 yeah. We go, pump, pump, pump it up. Yeah, I'll show you what I do. <laughs> River. <laughs> River poking her head out. Can you see herself? <laughs> That's so cute. Ready? We go like this, we go, pump, pump, pump it up. P U M P pump it up. Win, win, win the game. W-I-N, win the game. And we go, yay, yay. And we go, boop, 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 ring, ring. Hello? Oh, uh-huh, yeah, okay. It's for you. <laughs> I used to do that with Fox all the time. Boop, 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 boop. Ring, ring. Hello? Oh, okay, yeah, oh, yeah. She's right here. It's for you. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, I think that's it. In baby land, doing baby things with the toddler. Yeah, yeah, Just, okay. Just trying to survive, taking it one day at a time. Yes, yes. <laughs> Cutting all these bricks and so much refractory mortar dust comes off. I don't know if you guys can see in there. I'm trying to save all that dust. And then I'm gonna throw it back into the mortar mix for the brick. I just put it
put some regular mortar in there with the refractory dust and uh, I don't know, 20% refractory dust. Mix it up. Looks pretty good. eucalyptus that we found and milled before and I've had for a couple months. We're gonna have a big table down right here so that all the pizzas can go here and we can get ready for cooking and then pizzas come out of the oven and go here and then people can be back here and hanging out, friends, family and having a good time. And so we're gonna take this eucalyptus live edge and Matt's gonna give it the special Dwyer treatment there. Follow Matt's social media for more and he's gonna mill this up and place it right there. bricks fully saturated full of water so that it allows for a better bond of the mortar it doesn't just suck the moisture out of the mortar too quickly and make it brittle and then since I'm doing this you know one thing per day I'm pouring some water on these bricks just to make them a little wet
too much of this part of the oven is such busy work. It's just like total bitch work. I want to do something fun. So I want to get all my the bottom the floor of my hearth here. I want to get it all get the floor here all totally secure. I see these bricks are just loose still and I'm going to trap them in. So I'm going to make the first part of the neck here and get these hummus bricks in. This is going to be the warming chamber. It's going to be the, the neck of the oven. It's going to be where the flue extends from and then it's also going to be the main look. If you subscribe and comment below so you see the future parts, you're going to see how beautiful the entryway of this oven is going to be. Scoop and put it all in that bucket, okay? Good job. Okay. I've got to give you a big one. See if you can do this one. Ready? It's very heavy. Han Zhuang, Han Zhuang. Come on, come on, Foxy. Right. How the? Yep. You're up there in the pizza oven. Now wait. Now it's all wet, so you have to be really gentle. But here's what's gonna happen. Look. Look, you're gonna be right here. Just stay right here. Now deep tai chi breath. Oh, you wanna do that? Hands here. Wait. Hand like this. And now close eyes. We're gonna make sand castle in here and make big dome. Oh, make big dome? Make big dome. <laughs> yes. Make big dome? Make a big dome. You make it? No, bigger. Big dome. Like bigger than you. Big dome up here. Oh. Big one. Oh. Yeah. Hey, me? Bigger than you. Be daddy? Be mama? Be Willow Wiggy? Uh, bigger than Willow River. Uh, be mama? No, smaller than mama. Small mama. Oh. So like that, watch that. Okay. I put this down very gentle. Yeah. Can I give you this one? Put down very gentle. Next to it, over here. Put down, right there, good. Back, back, back. Right there. Down very gentle. Hey, come on, you got it. Good job. Good job. More? Watch that I'm gonna do. Gonna put tons of sand on there now. <clears throat> See this? Dump the sand on there. Lots. Yes, more. <clears throat> like that. Yep, yeah, just gonna keep this in there. Too much. Yeah. Too much what? Too much sand? Yeah. Tai do the sha zi ma. Tai do the sha zi. Bushu bushu. We should do the sha zi. Say han do.
something aesthetic. Well, I With your dirty feet, let's see. Show that. Whoa, balance. Let me see. Something aesthetic. We're gonna. This is guava wood. You see that? That's right. The guava up there. So Dada cut, and then the tree fell. Shout out. Down there. Yep. And now we have the wood, and we put the wood on pizza oven. Tropical wood man, the eucalyptus and the guava, the ironwood. It's so hard. It's breaking our bits, breaking our screws, snapping stainless steel screws. And a couple times we've created fires in the hole, even with fresh, sharp bits. Check it out. Smells good, it smells like popcorn. muscles oh thank you okay go do more okay looks good more? yeah do more looks good oh big muscles thank you bud Ooh, that one looks good there. Like it. I like it, bro. I like it. You like that?
they must have loved. Okay, just make the dome that you want for the oven space, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's on my bricks. <laughs> Sorry. How tall are you gonna make it? How tall should the space be? That is so big. Uh, I don't know, maybe like right here. Shaped this last time. <laughs>